so here's the dealio. Um, the snow in here is way too deep, and I am not fucking risking my life and getting stuck in there. I really want to go there. I really, really want to go there, but it seems that I can't because I know the quads get stuck, and then you need to get pulled out. Fuck it. Ah! Ow. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, let's let's uh let's go back. Dobro. Jutro! Ko je došao? Se naspavala? Jutro! Oh. Hi. I've been living here for the past three months in the mountains and uh it's fun I gotta admit you wake up in the morning and you kind of have a different mindset you have a a mountain kind of a mindset it's not about okay uh it's not about living a cool life it's about waking up and getting yourself some breakfast and just thinking of what you're gonna eat that day and like what kind of things you're gonna find in the mountains and like and the birds catch your attention so hard that it's it's the very first thing in the morning you want to hear i mean i've always wanted to be somewhere in the nature because of this primarily but like they're loud in here. They're really loud in here and they catch everyone's attention. One of the things that I feel extremely good about is that I'm far away from my parents. I am far away from my parents. I even block them, I believe, on my phone. They cannot even reach me and I, I feel like I'm being healed. Um, a lot of you will get this like, oh, wow, how is it possible that you don't love your parents? Like, don't get me wrong, I love my parents, it's just, it's just that uh, some parents don't ever learn how to be parents, you know? In the United States and in Sweden and other countries, other super developed countries, before you give birth to children, you actually have to go through training, official training on how to be a parent, how to deal with kids, how to raise them, you read books, you have psychological sessions you have group sessions with people learning how to be a parent but in bosnia you have two young teenagers who get together <coughs> each other have you know cereal i should not be using the word on youtube <laughs> they give birth to kids while they are still teenagers and they're not ready they don't they are being teenagers, you know, you have to go through that. You have to grow up. You have to become mentally stable first and mentally strong in order to have kids. But in Bosnia, teenagers have babies. 
And then these babies suffer because teenagers don't know how to raise them. And my parents were teenagers when I was born. You know? And they never, ever even spent a single minute preparing themselves for it. Which is why I suffered so much throughout my life. They, they hurt me so bad as parents because they didn't know what else to do. They tell you, oh, I love you, I'm gonna do everything for you. A lot of parents are willing to do everything for you, but they are not willing to let you be yourself. Like, they will kill for you. They will feed you. They will work for you. They will give you money. They will do all of that shit, but they will never allow you to be yourself. I remember when I was little, I had that style of mine. I still have. It's not a phase. I just like stuff from men's section. I, I wear... I don't wear girly clothes. I wear this kind of stuff, see? Baggy, hip-hop. My mom used to be like, I wish you were more girly. I wish you were more girly. I wish you were more girly. Like, she never accepted me for who I was. Then she learned her lesson later on. It's okay. But, like, there are other things. This is not the only thing that hurt me. So, yeah. Got away from her. I got away from my dad. My dad comes here, of course, because this is his place. But, like, I see him for five minutes twice a week, and that's it. So it's okay. So, like, the biggest change in my life right now is me being far away from them. Not hearing from them. Not talking to them. I'm feeling good about it. Feeling really good about it. I realize I'm not, I'm not the monster they, they were telling me I was. Like, legit, I, I, I believe them. Like, they would call me all kinds of names. And w one of them would be, like, monster and, like, mentally sick person. They used to call me that. For just protecting myself. So my, my home environment was really toxic. Then I moved out. Then I couldn't stay in the city at all. Then I couldn't stay in the city at all, and I came here. And now God's like, hey girl, you good, you're not a monster, you're not a mentally sick person, you're good. And I'm like, thank you God, thank you. So the mountain life is really good, I'm doing all kinds of stuff, like, I wake up in the morning, I, I, I do the fire thing inside. I do some cleaning, then I walk outside, I have my breakfast sometimes outside. I walk that forest right there behind the hotel. And uh, I get the emotional support from the nature that I had never gotten from my parents. So yeah. And a lot of times my mother is like, but I allowed you to do whatever you wanted to do. It, that's not enough. It's not enough to just allow someone to do what they want to do. You have to show them that you are supporting them. You know, and I never got that. Never. Oh. So I'm getting it here. And the energy, the stuff that works here, I love their energy, bro. I love I <laughs> We're so friendly to each other. It's amazing. Seven minutes. I've been talking for seven minutes. Enough. Let me show you what else I do. We do some crazy shit too. Yay, booyah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get off of my back and into my game. Get out of my way and out of my brain. Get out of my face. Get your best shot. I think it's time you better How do you do? Get off awesome. of my back. This is the biggest thing ever! The biggest thing we have ever done! Ever! Okay, we're gonna keep on doing this and you're gonna see the finished product! The end product! Because we're going there right now!
today, today is the day I am today years old realizing that I'm gonna hire someone to shoot my English teaching videos for Instagram and YouTube, edit them for me, upload them for me, but my life and my main income is gonna be this. Okay, update, I am I'm not gonna pay anyone to do my Instagram videos because I changed my Instagram video form as well and I'm happy with it right now. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's the update. Shooting crazy shit, recording crazy shit, putting it on YouTube, and making money off of it. Because this is what I truly enjoy. I don't wanna be stuck in one room and one room only doing videos in one room only forever. English teaching is not everything I want to be doing. It's not. It's just one part of my life, not my whole life. So I'm switching the fuck up. So if y'all see me a bit late with my videos on Instagram, I apologize. Because this is the life that I've been longing for. <sighs> Bitch, this is motherfucking crazy. I swear. And I'm loving it. Look at the mountains. I mean, mountains are my life, bro. Mountains are my fucking life. We all know how obsessed I am with mountains. With nature. Be done. Don't fuck off. Don't fuck off. Yes. Fuck off. See? <laughs> if y'all need a cinematographer, there he is. Holy shit. <laughs> Yes, it's pretty out. There is it. You can't take me. Before the end of this video, I just want to talk about the main lesson that I'm trying to teach you this time. It's, it's not about the mountain life as much as it's about becoming emotionally independent, emotionally stable. learning it the hard way I'm learning it the way where my family my own parents are my biggest enemies can't take me and I don't know why the universe chose my parents to be the ones but I'm learning a big fat lesson out of it and that's literally that you are enough. You are enough. I am enough for myself. I'm enough for myself to be happy. I don't need anyone else to tell me that they love me so I could be happy. I could literally spend my whole life alone and I wouldn't give a damn. But I had to go through so much pain first. And I had to learn that nobody's gonna love me more than I love myself. Not even my parents. So if you're having a hard time in life, think about what kind of people surround you and think about how attached you are, attached you are to them emotionally. Because the only thing that is slowing you down in your life is your attachment, emotional attachment to someone or something. Get yourself free, then you'll be happy. I don't know what kind of sick mind taught you that you are not allowed to do what your heart desires. I really don't know what country you come from and what kind of culture taught you that you cannot have your own life the way you see it, the way you picture it, the way you want to have it. But I need you to remember God every time they tell you you can't. Because He's the one that put you on this planet. And guess what He told you before you arrived? He told you to do whatever the fuck you want to do with your life. So go and do it. Fuck everyone else. Including your family that tries to stop you from doing it.
and go do what brings you happiness, please. Please. Love you guys.